Hi, my name is Karen Kastens. I'm a jeweler and I have a studio workshop here in Copenhagen, Denmark. Have you ever experienced that your white gold jewelry after some time sort of stopped being quite so white? Well, I can tell you that there is nothing wrong with your eyesight. Rest assured, actually it's true. Your white gold jewelry is starting to look sort of muted and more warm in color because the rhodium is wearing off. So what is rhodium, you ask? I bought white gold jewelry, not rhodium jewelry. True, you bought white gold jewelry. However, white gold doesn't look white when it's dug out of the ground. White gold is an alloy made of gold and gold is yellow. So what do we do to get white gold? Well, we dilute it with silver and palladium and rare times also uh, pa uh, platinum. Um, and of course, when you start out with something yellow, there is a limit as to how wide you can get this yellow, no matter what you put into it. There's a small exception, I'll get back to that in a moment. So you end up having this rather beautiful sort of dough colored um, metal, which you can create jewelry of. However, if you want this white color, the color that freshly polished silver has, this is not what you're looking for. And so we routinely cover white gold uh, jewelry with uh, the color rhodium. Just like vermeil jewelry is covered with gold, we cover white gold with rhodium. But unfortunately, if you cover something with anything else, it's sort of a layer of lacquer, eventually it will wear off. Especially on rings, you will see it rather quickly. Firstly, you will see it in the, on the inside of your hand, and then over time, you will also notice it on the outside. Every surface which is sort of a bit elevated will get worn first, and the rest will continue looking like it did when you purchased it. So it will end up being somewhat bicolored. Some like that. Um, some are rather disappointed by it. I would personally be disappointed if I buy something and then it changes. And unfortunately, there is a tendency that um, customers aren't told when they purchase white gold jewelry that it will change because it has been rhodium plated. So is white gold just dough colored, you ask? Well, not always. Actually, you can uh, put one more metal into it, which will make it at least more white. You can put nickel into it. Nickel is absolutely prohibited in anything which will touch the skin in Europe, but in the States it is allowed. So, dear viewer, if you're watching this from the States, be aware that your jewelry might contain nickel and take your, your precautions. You might want to lacquer whatever so surface is uh, touching your skin, or at least if you do purchase white gold jewelry in the States, probably you do, then ask and make sure that there is no nickel in, in it, because it is possible to find also in the States, or buy it in Europe. <laughs> so, what can you do? Well, firstly, of course, you can purchase your rhodium-plated white gold jewelry, and just know that every one or two years you will have to have it replated at your jewelers, which costs something. It, varies from jeweler to jeweler and country to country. You can also just uh, bear the fact that it will change. It will end up being sort of bicolored or eventually become this darker color, just like the rest of us change, and that's not a bad thing. Or you could just choose to say, okay, I don't want anything to change. I want it to look like the day I bought it, with the wear and tear that it will get anyways. So I want it to be just white gold, and that is not a bad choice, because this light grayish brown uh, color is actually rather beautiful. Especially us sort of pinkish white Caucasian people, um, it looks rather beautiful with this soft color on top of our skin, where the, the really bright white of, of freshly polished silver or the rhodium covered white gold can look a little bit harsh. So don't despair. And every time you buy white gold jewelry, just make a choice. Do I want it to be actual white gold or do I want it rhodium plated?